Well, we're really looking forward to to visit next week by the Duke of Cambridge. It's the first official visit by a senior member of the royal family. I think it's going to be a great success. I hope that it will be a celebration of the modern relationship, the modern partnership between uh, the UK and Israel. There were many questions this week. Is there a political uh, message here as the area, some of the areas defined as occupied territories? There's no political message in this. The Duke is not a political figure. He'll be here to see a bit of the country, to, to get to meet some of the people here, and also to, to get a to get a flavor of Israel, to, to see what's happening here, some of the extraordinary success in, in tech, some of the great uh, culture here. And he really wants to, to get under the skin of the country, and I hope that we'll be successful in helping him do that. We will see more royal visits in Israel soon. I don't know. I'm very focused this week on making next week a success. I hope it will be. I'm sure it will be. I, I know the Duke of Cambridge is really looking forward to the visit. So that's our focus now, making next week a, a big success. Maybe tell us the aim of the visit. The aim of the visit is really to celebrate the contemporary partnership between the UK and Israel. And we've never, we've, we're doing better now than we've ever done before in terms of our trade, our investment, our science, our high-tech cooperation. And I hope the Duke's visit will enable us to showcase all of that cooperation and look forward to an even stronger future together. Ambassador, why can the Palace describe the visit in the old city as a part of the Palestinian occupied territories? All the terminology that was used in announcing the program was consistent with years of practice uh, by British government. It's consistent with decades of British government policy. But we're now focused on making next week a, a really successful visit. I know the Duke is looking forward to it a lot. I think it'll be a big success and I hope it will enable us to celebrate the strength of the contemporary relationship between the UK and Israel. Okay.